I'm really excited to share with you today. I just got my darn good yarn box in the mail. And after last month, I have high hopes for this box. So stick with me and let's go see what's inside. It's JJ with Baby Girl Crafting, and we're opening our darn good yarn box. Last month was awesome, and I did the hat, and you, I'll put the video up here if you want to go see what last month's was. So I'm kind of nervous, but the funny thing about this box is it jingles. So I'm wondering if there's like a Christmas theme to it. That will be so exciting. I'm kind of nervous though before we get into this, because I have two other crochet projects I'm working on. My Mary Maxim box, or crochet kit that I got, I'm working on it, it's going along, but it's thin thread and it's a new thing for me, and it's slow. But it's gonna be amazing when it's done, I actually really like it. And then I have another pattern that I mentioned a while back, and I'll put that video up here somewhere. And you can see I have started that project, but it is taking me a very long time with the yarn that I'm using and I'm hoping to get a tutorial up with some different yarn in the next little while because that the project's gonna take me a long time. But so I'm working and working and working and I'm doing all this stuff and I'm having so much fun doing it, but I'm excited. So I'm really looking forward to see what's in here. Fingers crossed. All right, let's get with it. All right, so I just opened it. Should we look at it together? Ooh, interesting. All right, let's take a closer look at this. This is like chunky weight yarn. Let's see exactly what it, it's, uh, it, let's read exactly what it says. It is a medium four, but it looks chunkier than a medium four. Definitely chunkier than what um, Darn Good Yarn usually sends. They usually send the thinner stuff. Let's see, get you a good view. See, look how, it looks a little chunky. A little bit more uniform than I'm used to seeing from them too. Not completely, there's some bigger bigger chunks, but. Okay, let's read it. Um, it is a medium four, 50 grams. The knit gauge it says is a US seven to nine, which is a 4.5 to 5.5 millimeter uh, knitting gauge. And the crochet, crochet gauge is a US I nine or 10 and a half, which is a 5.6 to six, sorry. I said that all wrong. It's a five and a half to a six and a half millimeter. So let me go ahead and show you that. So you can say, kind of see. It is a speckled tweed recycled silk. And the name of this one is Stormy Day. Well, so far I love the yarn. That's two in a, in a row, two months in a row that I'm actually been very, very pleased with the yarn. I am really liking this. Oh, I can't wait to work with it. It's actually, I mean, it's a little stiff, but it is, it is soft. I'm liking it. Kind of smells like conditioner, like fabric softener. Interesting. Let's see. We do have jingle bells. Okay. I think this is really cool. Some people out there might not, but I like the jingle bells. It's that time of year. But let's see what our um, patterns are. We have a message that's the yarn, that's to uh, the High Yarn Club family. And give me just a moment, I'm gonna read it and see if there's anything important. Okay, so the message just tells us about the yarn, that it's a stormy day and that it's a sophisticated gray. But it also has a rainbow of colors, which is exactly what it looks like. It's kind of like a gray, but you can see all those little different past their pastels like blues and yellows and pinks there's a, actually a red in there hot pink anyway I really like that and our patterns are going to be cowls and this is from the design teams of Alan and Shannon so we have our patterns that is the cowl for the knit and since I don't knit, I don't do much about that. But that one is by Alan Metz. And then our crochet cowl 
is Cloudburst Cowl. It is an easy skill level. And it, is, it says pattern by Wilder Minds Creations, which I believe is Shannon. So it's going to be, it's not going to be a big loopy cowl. It's just going to be a, um, a simple cowl, which is fine. Keep the neck warm in these uh, cold winter months. I live in Georgia. So, but it's, it's really cold and it's so rainy right now. I can't get over the rain but that's all right. So it looks like it's going to take the one skein of yarn and it's specifically designed for stormy day. And it should, we should be able to do it. Let's see. Foundation. Okay. Ooh, I have a problem with this cowl. Not the pro problem with the pattern in general, because the pattern looks like it's, it's simple and that anybody should be able to do it but I have a very very difficult time me personally we're going to make a chain stitch and then we're going to connect the chain stitch so we're going to be uh, crocheting in a circle and I mess it up every time so this will be good practice for me very good practice for me um and it looks like we're going to be doing half double crochets this time I love half double crochets so if you don't uh know the half double cr crochet Go up here and I'll put a video that I did when I was first started learning how half double crochets. So yes. Alright, I'm excited. I'm going to do this pattern and when I get it done, I will go ahead and come back and show you the finished product. Obviously not in this video. I'll do another video because it's going to take me a little while. But what do you guys think? Did you like last month's? If you saw last month's, it's, it was a blue, it was like midnight blue, sparkly blue or whatever. And we made a hat. I loved the hat. I wear the hat. And so now we're going to make a cowl. Darn good yarn. And and it's uh, Nicole, I believe. Yes, duh. I knew that. Nicole, a darn good yarn. And everybody, a darn good yarn. That is two months in a row that have been absolutely, seriously pleased with your boxes. So keep them coming. You guys are doing good things. Yay! All right. Until next time. Later, peeps.